What's up everyone, TJ here from the Unleashed Human and on this video I'm going to be teaching you how to properly foam roll your upper back but also underneath the armpits a bit to really help with the teres minor and major. Now remember to stay to the very end of the video because I'm going to tell you who should or is allowed to do this and then people who should not foam roll these areas of your spine. For those of you who don't know where the upper back is, it's in this area where the neck meets down through into the trapezius, also known as your traps, and it goes down to the shoulder blades about T6 thoracic six level. So that's a spinal level that'll tell us if you're either in the upper back or going up into the neck or even going down into the mid back. So we're gonna be working through here, down into the shoulder, right about here. And then we're gonna come underneath the armpit and I'm gonna show you how to get in there just a little bit with the teres minor and major. Now with the upper back, you're gonna start just a little bit above the midline of your scapula or your shoulder blades and just work up through here. And what I like to do is bring my arms out similar to the mid back and just let it ride up. Don't go to your neck, just go right up where your shoulders almost meet your neck and just kind of go back and forth through here. And you can even just like on the mid back, take your arms, bring them above your head and really just retract your shoulder blades here and feel a good stretch. And what I also like to do is just take a few moments to bring my arms back and up as I'm rolling through here and just find some trigger points that might be bothering you, work them out a little bit. And then from side to side, just kind of work through onto the lateral side of your scapula. And then same thing on this side, roll through here on your scapula on the other side and just really feel the stretch. Now with the upper back, you also wanna get the foam roller right here into the armpit a bit and get the teres major and minor. Roll through here and that is super tender on me. So if you find a spot, just kinda of lay on it and let it roll through. And then just like anything else, go to the other side and do the opposite side. So with the upper back, very similar to the mid back. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. But this is all it takes to get a really nice stretch through the upper back. If you look right here, this is a picture of a normal upper back. But as you can see, the top portion of the thoracic spine is the upper back, and then the bottom portion of the thoracic spine is the middle back, which then will extend down into the lumbar spine, also known as the lower back. So people that should not do this are people with the condition called flat back syndrome or straight back syndrome. And those are the people that have a flat spine. So if you can imagine the thoracic spine like this, it would be as if they were standing up straight like this. And with people that have an increase of curve, we call this hyperkyphosis of the thoracic spine. This would be a lordosis of the thoracic spine, essentially meaning that it's flat. So when you do any kind of foam rolling up to that area, it will actually make it flatter. So if you can imagine foam rolling like this with your arms back will flatten it, where remember this is rounding it. So we don't want someone who has a flat back to do something like that because it'll make their symptoms worse, it will make their spine worse, and in turn, their entire life worse. So I would avoid that if you know that and just steer clear of foam rolling or any kind of extension exercises in the thoracic spine. Now, if you're the kind of person that is looking to see if you have this, great job by the way, you would need someone who is specialized in chiropractic biophysics or someone who specializes in biomechanics of the spine. And the only way that you can see that is if you have x-rays, full spine x-rays of your spine. And from there, someone who is trained in biomechanics of the spine can help you with your posture and your spine so that you could eventually start doing some foam rolling and probably help you along the lines of 
increased quality of life and decreasing pain because most people have a lot of pain with a flat back as you could probably imagine. So if you have any questions regarding chiropractic biophysics or someone to see, please re reach out to me. I would love to help you. With this video, it was my hope that you got something out of this educationally. These videos are designed for you to learn. I have went to school for over 10 years to learn all of this stuff, and it's me just pouring out to you guys to give you as much information as I can in my personal life, in my professional life as a doctor, and really just as a human to give you as much as I can so I can help you guys become your best self every day. So please guys, if you could like this, it really helps with the algorithm so that other people can see this. And please subscribe and comment. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys and I really, really appreciate your support.